Facebook is in the hot seat again for letting 50 million of its users unknowingly participate in an information warfare campaign to reportedly sway the 2016 US presidential election. Cambridge Analytica, a company with ties to Steve Bannon and the Republican billionaire Robert Mercer, allegedly used Facebook user data gathered from a simple online personality quiz to help Donald Trump become president. And while there's still a lot we don't know, Facebook has publicly admitted that the data gathered from the quiz was misused in a way that's against its policies. How Cambridge Analytica abused Facebook raises a lot of big questions about the role of social media in democracy, personal privacy, and what we can do to be more in control of the data we share on the internet. And at the end of the day, exactly how Cambridge Analytica abused Facebook's system is shockingly simple. I'm going to let Cheddar's chief data guru, Devin, explain. There's not a company in the world that actually cares what flavor latte your personality is. But when you sign in with Facebook to use that wacky little app or quiz you see floating around in your newsfeed, you are in fact signing over permission to whoever is behind it to see, track, and use a lot of your personal data. Facebook makes virtually all of its money by selling well-targeted advertising. It is able to do that because you are voluntarily giving it a ton of information about your interests, your habits, and your behaviors. While perhaps you are okay with Facebook having this information, the reality is that others can access it as well. Cambridge Analytica, for example, was able to get data from Facebook users that they used to attempt to sway the 2016 US presidential election results, and they didn't have to hack a thing. By convincing only 270,000 people to take a goofy personality quiz on Facebook, they were able to create profiles of 50 million Facebook users. So the question is, why did Facebook let this happen? And how did permission from only about a quarter million people lead to them creating robust psychographic profiles of 200 times that many users? The answer is that Facebook has built out robust ad targeting capabilities for advertisers. Part of that lets companies use Facebook as a way to sign in and authenticate people. We've all been there. You're trying to log into something, see Facebook as an option, and choose it because it's easier than creating a whole new login and password. But when you do that, you give whatever you're logging into permission to see things like your Facebook likes, work history, list of friends, and much more. Back in 2014, Facebook allowed users to not only share their data, but the likes of anyone that they were Facebook friends with. That's how Cambridge Analytica was able to have only 270,000 people take a psychological quiz and in turn scrape the data of 50 million Facebook users. So what can you do to keep something like this from happening again? Protect yourself. Do not log on to sites and apps using Facebook unless you know and trust the developer or company behind it. Stay up to date on Facebook's privacy changes. For example, did you know that you are automatically opted in to Facebook's facial recognition program? I'd consider opting out if I were you. All this brings us back to Cambridge Analytica and its misuse of data collected through a simple personality quiz. And if Facebook allowed for this kind of data leakage using its own tools, imagine what could happen if the company were hacked.